Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to play the unreleased PSP game called Saints Row Undercover on your PS Vita. So all you will need for this video is custom firmware and then Adrenaline installed. Once you've got those two things, go ahead and just open up Vita Shell. And then once Vita Shell loads, you can press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I can actually let you guys download this game. Um, I can basically just give you the link to it um, because it's a free release. Um, the developer which had it, who was like working on it for so many years, just released it to the public because obviously it's discontinued and nobody can really make any money off of it. So I'll leave a link to the game in the description. Here it is, Saints Row Undercover, pretty cool game. Now you're looking for the download section right here and you can choose any mirror you want to. I would recommend choosing the Mega or media fire one so I'm going to choose on mega and then all you do is just click on download and just wait for it to download so just keep in mind it's actually over 400 megabytes so kind of a large file not too bad but just give it a chance to download so I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to pause it here now you will need to go to the second link in the description and this link will give you the software that allows us to get this game working so what you would do just click on download right here and now you can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this UK server. And it says download will begin in one second. And then it will just start downloading the software for us. So now you can just go and head over to your PC's downloads folder. And we can find our game ISO and the UMD Gen software in here. So the UMG Gen software, you don't even need to extract it. Just double click on the zip file and open up the exe. So when you open it, it might actually make kind of like a PSP startup sound. It actually made me jump the first time, so just keep that in mind. But um, you maybe just turn your audio down a bit. But what you want to do is just click on open, and we're looking for the ISO in our downloads folder. So now you can open up your ISO game. From here, you want to double click on this folder that says PSP underscore game. You want to go into this folder that says SYSDIR. And now what you want to do is find this folder here. It's called boot.bin. Just right click it and do extract selected. Make sure your downloads folder is selected and just click on OK. Now from here, we want to get this one called eboot.bin and we actually want to delete it. So right click and just click on delete and then that will disappear. Now go back into your downloads folder. So just minimize the program, find the boot.bin, right click, go to rename, and you just want to put E in front of the boot. So it stands for eboot.bin. Now back in the software, you want to right click here, click on add, click on existing files, click on eboot.bin that's in your downloads folder, and now just click on open. So now what we want to do is go up to save and you want to save it as an uncompressed ISO. So just click on that. And now we want to save it, maybe just give it a different name, um, like patched or anything you want really. So I'm just going to click on this and I'm just going to put patch at the start. Just like that and now just click on save. It's then just going to start saving, it shouldn't really take too long. And now we can just minimize out of this. So here we go, patched version, normal version. If you look at the patched version, it's actually 100 megabytes um, roughly 100 megabytes smaller. So now what we want to do is make sure our PS Vita is connected. Right click and go to copy on this file. Go onto your PS Vita. Go into view at the top. Go to hidden items. Look for the PSP MU folder. Now go into ISO and you want to paste it in here. As you can see, I've already got one in here just because I tested it earlier. But I'm just going to right click and paste this one in. So now you will have to wait for this to copy across. Um, so just give it five minutes or something like that and when it's done I will go back onto my PS Vita and show you guys how to start up the game and what it's like. Right guys so back on your PlayStation Vita we can completely close out of Vita Shell and you just want to open up your Adrenaline emulator. Alright so once it loads up like this we actually just want to press select and we want to open up the recovery menu because there is a plugin which we need to enable. 
Well, it's not really a plugin, it's more of a feature, but I'll show you guys what it is anyway. So if you scroll down and just go on to Advanced and then press X. Now once you're on Advanced, what you need to do is go down to Advanced Configurations and press X. And it's the top one here, it's called Force High Memory Layout. Make sure this is enabled. It might be disabled automatically, um, so just press X on it to enable it. And then go back, go back again. And now you can scroll down and press X on Exit. So now what we need to do is go onto the memory stick and we can now test if the game is loading. So it says Saints Row to full, um, but when we open it, it will actually be the proper game. So if you just press X to start it up, it should start booting. So here we go, we get the Saints Row undercover loading screen. Um, on this screen, just give it maybe a couple of minutes to load and then you can just try pressing Start and X. Um, just press those a few times, I think it's just X, and then you should get to this screen, and then it lets you press Start. So you can choose single player or co-op, I would recommend using single player, so just press X. Let's just do a new game, and it should load, and now we get to customize our character. So um, there's actually really weird characters on this. It looks like we've got fat, skinny, let's just go skinny I guess. And then press right, and we can change our race, let's just keep that, and hair, let's just have parted hair. Now you can just press X on start game, and the game will load up, so it's kind of playable. Um, obviously this is not completely finished, otherwise it would have been released, um, but you can play it a bit. Um, I have seen some YouTube videos where they have got quite far in the game, um, I won't be doing that in this video because obviously it takes a lot of time, um, but I'll just show you um, just some quick gameplay once it loads up. So it says press X to skip. So this is just sort of the tutorial menu. Um, you get to pick up a gun and you have to shoot this target, I believe, which is right here. So I think you press L or something to tilt your camera. Now we've got a shotgun and R to aim and then circle to shoot. There you go. So yeah, pretty cool game. Um, obviously very glitchy right now and it will probably never be finished. Unless someone, you know, develops it and makes it kind of into like a homebrew game or something, but I don't know. But it's still quite interesting. If you're a fan of this game series, um, then you'll probably really like it. Because this has been, um, I think it was only recently released, maybe like a couple of years ago. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.